How's it going everyone? I have some news for you today. Well, some older news as of November 21st, 2023, Game Maker Studio 2 is now free. Game Maker is a primarily 2D based game engine behind many hit games such as Undertale, such as Hotline Miami, Hyperlight Drifter, Forager, so on and so forth. And with this new pricing model now not everything is free of course because if you take a look here you're going to see three different tiers of licensing now the free model the good thing here is that for free you're able to export to many different devices so you can export to different desktops different mobile phones this is mac and android and then html5 which is great free out of the box and no strings attached now if you want to go with a commercial license, sell your game, make profit, things of that sort, there is a one-time fee of $100. So everything in the free license is in the professional license, except you now have a commercial license. Anything addition to that, and we're, you know, we're talking console exports. So now if you want to export your game over to Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation, you now have to pay for the enterprise version. And if you look over here, they give you two different models. They give you a monthly subscription, which is $79.99 or a yearly payment for $800. So it looks like you save two months with the yearly model. And this is going to be for those individuals who are exporting to consoles. You may already have money or you may just want to go with the monthly package to do a, a few updates or, or what have you with your game. Now this is cool and all, but is Game Maker for you? And so I wanted to run by a few pros and cons in this video. Now I have been using Game Maker for five plus years now. I started working on Game Maker Studio 1, Game Maker Studio 2 came out, and now Game Maker Studio 2 has been like flushed out and there's many features that have been added throughout the years. So for a bit of history here before we jump to the pros and cons, Game Maker Studio 2 is actually owned by Yo-Yo Games. It was purchased for a few million dollars by Opera, which is the billion dollar browser based engine um, company, and they have since then taken the engine and made improvement after improvement after improvement after improvement if you look at here at the release notes these kind of speak for themselves like there was a release note as early as december 14. and so if you go back it's like every few months there's there's some and these are not just small changes they're they're pretty huge changes with new features and what they've also done was started adding like release bundles um, for assets and creating different tutorials and things of that sort but is this game engine for you so in terms of pros the engine is around two decades old so it offers great support in terms of a bunch of youtube tutorials and feedback on forums and the marketplace with uh, created scripts and libraries for you to choose from another pro here would be that the pricing the, the, the game the engine's free right and if you want to go for a one-time purchase you get the professional license that includes everything here now about before they even went with this pricing model like each export would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars like i paid like 200 dollars to export to android and like 125 150 for for web so having that pricing be for free, at least for non-commercial use, is great. That way you can get your game ready and do what you have to do. And to be honest, not many individuals are going to be creating a game and selling it, at least not your first, second, or third games, and take pretty long time to get something that you would, con you would consider like a commercial game. But another pro here is that Game Maker is easy to get into. Game Maker uses, it offers you two options actually. Offer, it gives you a GML language, Game Maker language, so that's a coding version, and then a visual GUI option to create games. And so, at least for the coding piece, it's very similar to Java Object Oriented or C++. So it's pretty easy to get into if you're coming from that kind of background. Another pro here is that you can easily export to many different consoles with the click of a button. Now, everything does take a lot of tuning, of course, but um, Game Maker actually makes this very simple to export. I've exported to Android, I've exported to HTML5, I've exported to desktop, and uh, Android has been pretty complicated, but that's 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 from Google. That that really isn't the, the game engine. There's just a lot of requirements on the Google side of things, but it has been somewhat seamless and pretty straightforward. 
All right, so let's talk about some of the cons. Now, Game Maker Studio 2 is primarily a 2D-based game engine. It can do 3D. You may see some games online that are 3D. However, it is not made for 3D, and I would not recommend you moving or trying this game engine out just to create a 3D game. I would advise you to look elsewhere. Now, another thing is the GML language, Game Maker language. It's its own separate language that you'll need to learn. Pretty flexible, and in, in terms of syntax and what you can and can't do, Another con here is the marketplace. Yes, the marketplace has a lot to offer, but when comparing the Game Maker marketplace with Unity or Unreal, Unity and Unreal have way better marketplace with a lot more assets to offer. And so this is something that Opera has been working on, creating more tutorials and more assets for individuals to download and, and start working on. But at the end of the day, um, there's other marketplaces for other engines that offer way more than Game Maker does. And lastly, Game Maker needs a lot of basic features. Now, since Opera picked up the engine two years ago, Opera has been adding a lot of features and I'll give them props there, but there's still a lot that needs to be updated or incorporated into the engine to create basic functionality to speed up game dev. And so some of these examples are like networking, creating GUI, so like creating any user interface is a nightmare. Even setting up the camera is pretty hard. And some of the built-in variables and methods are not so straightforward, which means you may often find yourself reinventing the wheel. And there you have it, Game Maker Studio 2 goes free. Is it for you? I don't know. That will be for you to decide, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, I'll see you next time.